So I did the physics of field hockey, and I was supposed to do the grades, but she, she left us. Um, so just a brief background um, for field hockey, because unless you're white Beyonce, you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, so it was a flick that stick the ends in contact with the ball, and the player asserts a quick, sharp force from the axis of rotation. And when you're just playing, you hold your hands apart like this, so the axis of rotation is the lower one. So if your ball was here, you just push up, and like you don't have a backswing at all. It just goes straight up. But then for a drive, you bring your hand back so your axis of rotation changes, and then you step into it and swing forward. And then I have videos of this. Let's see if they work. So this is me, and I'm doing a flip. And then you go up, step forward, and it pushes it up and out. So it makes um, a parabola. And then you can't hear it, but it makes like a clang, because I was aiming for the back corner, and then it hit the pole there, so it worked. And then Maddie Gag is doing a drive in this one. What? Uh-oh. Nope. Um, on the fifth tab, this one? the video should be accessible. Okay. Double click. Okay, yeah. this is Maddie driving. And then back swing, comes around, hits it, and then it doesn't go in the goal because it's more powerful. Than <laughs> and then, okay, so, instruction. So my purpose was to analyze and compare accuracy, distance, and precision, and acceleration of different field hockey hits, the flick or push, and then the drive. And then my hypothesis was that the precision and accuracy of the flick would be higher, but the acceleration and distance of the drive would be higher. And so for shooting purposes, the flick would be more efficient. And then apparatus, uh, my field hockey stick, which is an offensive field hockey stick. And then a turf field, because it works better on turf, there's less, um, friction, and then just the standard everything, 25G accelerometer and then a high-speed camera. Okay, and this is kind of hard to see, but in field hockey, um, for scoring, there's a circle, a half circle with a radius of 16 yards, which is 14.62 meters, and you have to be on that circle or within it in order to, for your points to count. So, um, Maddie and I stood like at a radius of 14.63, like we are at the edge of the circle, which is the farthest you can be away to score. And then um, the accelerometer we take right here, and either the arrow is pointing down, which would be linear acceleration, or it's pointing um, forward, like here, which would be centripetal acceleration. So we got both, so they're both part of the hit. And then procedure, some little apparatus is shown, and then we did three flicks, three drives. Then we reattach the accelerometer the other way, did three flights, three drives, and then analyze, obviously. Okay, so background. Um, the units of acceleration are meters per second squared and units of velocity are meters per second. So the integral of an acceleration versus time graph is velocity. So that's how we got speed. And then from the videos, it's um, just like exit velocity, um, like with the uh, analysis, video analysis. And then the kinematic equations. And then this is the equation for jerk, which we didn't do in class because it's kind of confusing. But uh, jerk is just change in acceleration, which is really apparent in my graph, so I put it in even though I didn't really use it so much. Okay, so the flick with linear acceleration looks like this. So um, there's a really sharp deceleration and acceleration here. And um, so we didn't really know how to do it. And then the integral of it is speed. So it's constant, and then here it decelerates because I'm transferring speed and acceleration, like it slows down, um, to the ball as I push it, and then the ball is released here, and then the stick accelerates into um, a more constant velocity again because it's the only thing moving with the accelerometer, the stick, the ball, like off the stick. And then, um, for the drive, it's a little bit different because obviously you like have an acceleration here, acceleration here, and then it hits, like there's a backswing and a follow through. So it goes up, goes down, comes back, and then it's more constant at the end. Yeah. I don't know where did it go? Oh. Okay. And then 
this is the um, velocity versus time for the drive with linear acceleration. So it's decent. It's like a constant negative velocity. And then there's just a really sharp spike as it hits the ball. And then it comes back up through the follow through as the ball is released into its hit. And then let's look at the centripetal acceleration. It's a little bit more confusing because it should be a little bit more constant. This is just when it hits the ball, it makes like a really big change because there's like a transfer. But then other than that, <coughs> this is isn't this supposed to be about gravity? Like isn't the way that it's programmed? Like one of them's gonna be zero, the other one's gonna be like about. Depending on the orientation, yeah, the angle okay. is yeah. yeah. So this one's supposed to be about zero, the other one's supposed to be about negative 9.81, which is why it's not a negative acceleration. And this is the interval for the, like, like the acceleration. Like, it's got the velocity, then there's a spike, point of the ball, and then it's constant again after the ball's released. And I don't know what happened to that, but I don't know my flash drive. But it does, like, a really similar thing where it has, like, um, the release of it. And then my conclusion is that Based on our videos, stuff like did have a high level of precision accuracy, like you couldn't hear it, but it did hit the back corner, like, which is where it's supposed to be going. But like it slowed down a lot, like it hit the ground and lost its speed and rolled into the goal instead of going as fast as it did the whole time. Um, but it makes sense because it has a closer, uh, less radius for its uh, axis of rotation, so it's going to be more controlled. And then the drive had more acceleration, like a bigger jerk, more speed. Um, and it like obviously didn't slow down as much like through its hit, but I didn't go in the goal, so it wasn't as accurate. So it's better for distance and long field passes, which we saw in their videos also. And then so my hypotheses are correct. And then that's it. Thank you.